Next, may I invite Uthu Ying, General Manager from MMRD Research Services, for the presentation about consumer media habits. So we only two people left. Everybody's sleepy. So go turn on nine. Don't ring the bell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, my part is uh, Myanmar consumer media habits. I'll go a little bit quickly, but I would like to go back last 40 years ago. So actually, uh, we are in the business at least for the 20 years, almost 25 years now. When uh, I try to uh, make this presentation to the MMSA member and our college, from the different uh, the industry. I started thinking like, okay, what is the history of Myanmar media market first? So before, if I go before 1980, there is very, very few weekly journals, newspaper. I think some of the people might uh, remember that kind of time because majority of people are still very young apart from these front people, <laughs> people from the front door. So we also uh, remember some magazine appear. At that time, what I remember is radio and a cinema were the major entertainment. Whenever we would like to do something new or something different, we go to the cinema normally as a young person. Then we try to listen. When we are young, I remember like we try to go back home to listen some music from the radio, from some other entertainment. Then if we go to 1990, still magazine is still one of the favorite and the popular one. Up to 90, there is some changes coming up until 2000. So what we notice is VCD players become popular in 1995. Weekly journals, a lot of weekly journals coming out. Then CD FM radio coming out in a 2002. Uh, 2001, we are having at least three, uh, something like a TV station, because very first one started in 1980 as a government owned. The second one started in uh, 1995 as a military-owned Miaori station, then third one around 2001. Then, especially Korean episode and a movie from the DVD format push all the old format of the, the media down and coming out like DVD, VCD wall. Then, mainly hard to the cinema halls, actually. Then in 2004, MMBOX started introduced, if I'm not wrong, because feel free to correct it, because I just tried to pick up some and I tried to uh, draw a history line. The sound uh, figures some year might be a little bit waving. Then 2005, Five Network coming up. Then 2006, MRDV 4 International. Then in 2010, not only the TV station, private and the paid channels coming up, then a lot of uh, the FM radio station coming up, and 2001, 2012, 13 now, another channel, especially to the private owned newspaper returns actually, because we have to say return, because b before 1960, we have a lot of private owned newspaper. Now, we return and we are coming back to the, maybe the same situation like last 60 or the 70 years, or maybe we are going to the new world. Then if we look at the picture of the media universe in Myanmar, this is something like look alike. Because we are having a lot of friends, not only one or two TV stations now. We are having a lot, free to air, paid, and a privately owned different station. Then we are also having, uh, yes, TV advertisement is still dominating, but weekly journals coming out like second, newspaper coming up, magazine still going as a food. 
then a lot of radio station. Then starting from this year onward, as a research agency and a research team, we expect like cons uh, computer, internet, mobile phone, smartphone, mobile web browser will come up. Because until this year, early this year, we estimate like the internet usage would be less than 5%. According to the government announcement, starting from April, there will be a lot of uh, new line, new, new uh, the telephone line coming up, and there will be a lot of uh, the improvement will be coming up. Then, in a positive way, we can expect like some more new channel, mobile web browsers, internet will be a major player and a major media role in the future. We expect. Okay. Starting from this slide, we will be, I will be presenting about the current media uh, market, especially from the uh, Myanmar consumer perspective. A uh, source of information we are uh, using is from our Consumer Index 2012. We tried to uh, conduct and uh, target more than 4,800 population covering different age group and different uh, gender, different uh, the SEC segment to estimate the current situation of the Myanmar. Very first one, so we, I would like to show Myanmar consumer media incidents. Incidents, what we mean here is out of 100 people, how many people are using or watching or reading this particular newspaper? Number one is not TV actually, video, VCD and DVD at the expense of current electricity situation. Yes, we are in a sometime bad situation, but it's something good for some, somebody. Then second follow TV, 48%. Then the radio, 40%, and a cinema, 2%. 23% journal, magazine, 7%, and newspaper, 11%. Let's go back to the history of the TV. We started our the study around 1995. At that time, we noticed that the incidence of the TV viewership is something like 75%. It went down a lot up to the 2000, 2002, then come back again to uh, the 57%, then went down again in uh, 2008, 42%, 2010, 36%, and uh, 2012, a little bit back up to the 48%. So even the media behavior of the consumers also linked to the current country situation actually. And according to the trend, we are hoping and expecting that we are going for the positive. There is a lot of channel, not only one or two actually, but I try to take only three stations. They all are free to air, MRDV, Myawadi, and uh, the MRDV4. Then I try to, we try to look at the different areas. Okay, for example, like Yangon metro area, there will be 91%. Then Mandalay, it will be around about 87%. If we go to the dry area, it might be only about 44. Then the lowest will be the West Coast area, like 17% only. So if we try to look at the different uh, channel, MRTV, strong in the some area and a, a bit weak in the others. Then Myawadi the same, M MRDV4. MRDV4 mainly dominate in Yangon and Mandalay, share, share having around 80%. So as a, a marketing service agency and a media planner, normally what I understand here is everybody are trying to check these figures and trying to plan for different client and a different, uh, the different pr partners. Then when we look at the time, normally actually as a Myanmar people, we everybody know that what time would be the peak time. Because for the past 20 years, especially for the last five years, whenever I try to present to the local partners and the local brand team, they always say that we don't need to do any research. We know what time will be the best. Yes, they are correct. Because after six, everybody go back home because nothing no entertainment at all. So majority of the people go back home and start watching TV if they have electricity. If they don't have it, they wait for the something, then they started 
watching the VCD or the DVD. So normally the time would be, peak time would be between 6 to 10. The peak time is something like 7 to 8 all the times until year 2012. Then again, this is a slide I like actually. Yesterday we tried to argue a lot and I think MRTV food and uh, the, the, the uh, forever team might correct what we are right or the wrong. Starting from last two years, the TV channel programs are changing from just importing or just buying the Korea episode or the some other foreign programs. They also try to produce their own. Then, according to February 2013, we found out like a Met Sonya become number one program competing Korean series actually. They, at average, their reach is something like 40% minimum. Then second become uh, something like Channel 7 again, Nyanyi Nek Kong Ah, that is something like competing between uh, the uh, young children. But this figure we only take for the metro, don't project for the nationwide actually. So there is a list, we try to take out top 10 local program rating based on the February triggers. Then we try to check how AMET Sonya is working because everybody knows that AMET Sonya started introducing introduced as a uh, week one then end up around week nine or the ten. We try to chase each week then what we found is yes it is growing. In a start wide first week that would have only about 18% reach, then go up to the 26%, 25%, 27%, up to the 40%. Then at the final day, they always reach the 47%. But one thing what we found out strange, it's also good for us actually, 20%. Why this week is going down? We try to check what program it is. Then when what we found out is that is rock, some said punk, then we are trying to check very detailed, actually not because of the program, because of the competitor. As a channel seven, yes, the, the MRTV4 made is the same group, but in the wall, that would be the, uh, the competitor Excel. At that date, at that time, there is a live show called 1918 Minutes. That program launched in that day, that night, and it hits to the season four. So then what we understand is, yes, program may be good, very, very good, but we also need to check what the competitors are doing as well. Otherwise, if we cannot compete directly with them, then we have to think in a, some other way. Then again, uh, when uh, we try to check for the video, VCD, DVD viewing incidents. When we conduct that study, the consumer index study in 1995, it is already around 66%. Now it is around 75% in the 2012. That means that in the between of the years, there is some decline in the tr in a trend. Then what we found out here is consumer habit change. Around 1995, majority of the people are watching at video parlor. But now, not anymore. They are watching at their home. Not because we can afford it all the time. Because of the, uh, actually, I think COVID, uh, Komojo is saying like something back to the China program. But I have to say, thanks to the Chinese product because a lot of VCD, v DVD come from China, are much more affordable for the people currently in Myanmar. So it makes Myanmar people lifestyle change as well. Radio listening incidents. Very interesting point here is sometimes even natural disaster make us change our lifestyle. In 95, we only have 33%. Then in a 2000, it went down to 30%. If Nagis doesn't come up, it will, I don't know what will happen. But according to this situation, in a 2008, went up to 31% easily because everyone want to listen what is the situation of the weather. 
Then again, went up to 34%. Then again, went up to 40% in 2012. Then the majority of the, the supporter might be the FM station, actually. When we try to check who are listening this program, because we, in our modern world, we have a lot of uh, different channels and the different uh, the material we can use for, uh, to listen the program, then what we found out is rural people. Majority of the people who listen the radio are not very much from the metro area like Yangon Mendeley, not the urban cities, especially from the rural area. But what we shouldn't forget, according to our population structure, yes, total might be very arguable, total might be different from what we think, but in terms of the ratio, two-thirds of the population in Myanmar are still living in the rural areas at least eight or nine months of the year round. Because according to the social study we conduct, yes, some few people going up in the some season to go out and walk. But every rainy season, they go back to their uh, areas and walk for their own living. So we still need to consider these are the important people and these are the one of the area we have to focus. These are the local. Then now, starting from 2010 onwards, we are having a lot of competition in our FN radio station, not only the national owned one. So what we found out here is 2002, there is only one city FN radio. At that time, even you want to put one at spot, you have to wait, you have to go in a queue. Now you are having a lot of competitors. You are still number one or two. Yangon City FN is still number two in the region like Metro because Manly FN become number one in a Metro. Then Shui FM become like number one in a plain area and the coastal. So what we can do here is some FM station, they can represent a lot of region, but some only represent to these, uh, some plot area actually. So for the media planner and uh, for the, the researcher, we normally need to check which program is representing to uh, which area, something like that. Then again, we try to check when they are listening. We thought like, because we are living in Yango, we try to check how people are living in Yango. But as a researcher, we also need to think about what in the other uh, the areas are happening. So, but for this light, wh what we try to do is we ch try to plot only for the weekend and the weekday, try to plot on average of the listening time. And we found out like morning six up to the eight o'clock is a one of the peak time for the radio listening not because of the young people, because of the young adult, uh, the older age group and uh, some adult people. Then again, around 12, uh, 12 to 1, then that is the, uh, the normal uh, the rest time for the Myanmar people, not only in the Yango, also in the some other areas. That's why it could become some peak time. Then cinema viewing. We always say that cinema is a dying industry, but from my point of view, that may be, but there are some room to grow actually because Metro currently show up 10% now. Because according to our study throughout the years, in 1995, we have about 30% going down to 2% now in 2012. Even Metro last two years or the four years ago, it only has about 4 to 6%. But in a metro, there is a lot of modern cinema hall coming up and a percentage also coming up. That means that we still have a room to grow there. So, but the, currently, we might need to focus on the metro area for the consumer. Monthly magazine. Again, 21% in 1995, but 7% only in uh, 2012. Incidents, male-female uh, 
different, what we found out is about 4%, because female 9% and the male 5%, average around 7% in the 2012. Metro people reading a little bit more than the urban and the rural. Pre uh, until now, there is uh, one correct thing, and uh, uh, the correct formula is majority of the consumers are still hiring or renting the book from the bookshop. At least 83% of the people. But when we check number of magazine publishing in the current situation, starting from 2001 up to now, there is not declining actually. In terms of the publication, they are still growing. That means that each publisher still have a room to grow. Weekly journals reading incidents, 9% in the 1995 but now reaching to the 33%. So we can call it as a rising star. In terms of incidents by the gender, 31% male and a female to 17%. Metro 56, urban 35 and a rural 13%. Then, yes, that rising star is also growing in a publication. In 2001, we only have 85 and now we are reaching to 210, 210 publishing every week. Reading journals type. So what type of journals they are reading? Informative, 63%, Metro 71, Urban 65, and Rural 57. Second, followed by the sports journals, 37, 33, 33, and 44. So we try to take out top five journals according to our 2012 uh, Consumer Insight Index. 7, day news journal become number 1, weekly 11 news 2, first 11 3, AR 4, and our premier 11 5. Daily newspaper reading incidents, 35% in 1995. Now, 2012, we only have 11. But in a 2013, government allowed private sector to have a newspaper. That means that it, it will change in a trend. We may not be able to predict for the current years. So we have to wait and see what will happen. Incidents, 38% metro, urban 17%, and 4% rural. Top three edits and the atrix, we try to aid out. All boys and girls can at least wake up. 18% NATO, 13% PTU, and uh, I don't know the that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> okay. I definitely all three girls. <laughs> 14, 10, and 8. Okay, the last and a summary one. I try to go quick. Okay, when we try to check for the last six, eight years, yes, VCD, v, uh, DVD is still going well. TV still going well, going up and most of the channels, not because only of the program owners and the station or the, uh, the, the agency, also because of the, 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 the country and the environmental change. The last thing what I would like to say is that I just uh, put question mark to this, uh, the cinema and the magazine because they will change in a positive way. Then what we are expecting as a research team is internet usage. If the communication system change, computer, internet, and a mobile web browser will definitely grow. Not only a small way, it will grow in a big way. That means that for the consumer side, there will be a lot of choice. For the agency side, especially for the marketing and advertising media agency, that will be more competitive. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation, sir.